Public art is unique and different. The experience that, that you can have with a really large scale, outdoor, unique piece of artwork, I believe is different from anything else. But it's opened something so that you can stop and wonder. That's what we're here for. We're here to wonder at this beautiful world. You know, and if we can create tiny little pinholes in time where you can stop and see that, you know, I mean, that's, I think that's our job. <laughs> you know, so. My name is Breck Morgan. I'm an artist. I've been a painter since I was 19 years old, off and on. I've been painting for the last 20 years in a studio here in Bridgeport, mostly marine-related nautical realistic work. You know, some of it's a little more impressionist. Memories of Melville is the title of the piece. It's from a series of paintings that I've made of whale boats that I've referenced at the Mystic Seaport. Charles Morgan has a series of whale boats that uh, that I've photographed over the years and I've made a number of paintings of them in various aspects and when the opportunity came to create a mural here in Bridgeport one of the things that I had recently read about in Little Liberia during the time of its great economic existence here in Bridgeport there were whaling ship owners, uh, African-American free black whaling ship owners and crews you know that went out after the whale. It's I, in all of my reading, because I'm particularly interested in the whaling industry, one of the things they talk about is that the African American community, the Cape Verdean community, the Azorean community, that uh, the crews, especially in the latter years of the, of the whaling ships, were pretty much international. The idea that here in Bridgeport there was a sailing community and ship owners and whalers and seamen who made a living, you know, going off to sea, hunting the whale and, and doing all other kinds of fishing, I'm sure. The idea of using the whale boat as kind of a reminder of that, you know, part of Bridgeport's history. I wanted to evoke a sense of calmness and a sense of serenity and a sense of internal peacefulness. And part of that has to do with the the title, Memories of Melville. This is a whaleboat that doesn't exist in the world anymore. Nobody goes out and does that stuff anymore. When I was a kid, I thought it was the greatest adventure that you could possibly have. I realize now it's total butchery, you know, and that the whales have been decimated. The whaling industry during it, prior to petroleum, was what uh, kept all of the gears and stuff moving, you know, for almost all machinery. It lit the world at the time. You know, some of the finest candles were made from, you know, whale oil. And it also created huge fortunes, especially in New England, based on the amount of profit that was involved in the industry. The idea that this artifact can create a sense of, of uh, thinking about a prior time and its entire connection with local history and will bring them into a space where we start connecting more with our history. The ideal downtown is a, I, I believe firmly should be, an, an incredibly open, inclusive, diverse community with a lot of different activities, um, you know, for all different income levels and all different communities. And when that starts working effectively, I think that's the ideal downtown.